welcome to me session. Oh, I know, fair play to you, Jerry. It's great, it's great. It's going, it's going well. It's great, it's been a great week, yeah. All great week, week. Yeah, yeah. great week. And top, top talent. Oh. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, and yeah. it's great all the talent from Valley Fairman within it. It's brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, yeah. yeah. And tell us, Jerry, you started it, you were, you were over the youth, in, isn't it, here? Well, I work, yeah, manager of the youth service in Valley Fairman, yeah. And how long are you yeah. doing that? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you how many years, because too many years. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still going anyway. And That's you're born, bred in Valley Fairman, man. Started born the lower end of Valley Fairman, moved up to the middle, and now I live on the top. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. next stop, they say, is Palmerstown, but I don't yeah. plan on going there, you know. Yeah, well, that graveyard is full. And listen, <laughs> congratulations on all yeah. you're doing here. This yeah. is fantastic. Ah, it's great. You know, it's great. fantastic. Yeah. Great. You know, it's great. Yeah. I'm not having the good weather as well. Yeah, oh, we ordered that. Yeah, That's we fun. ordered that. Thanks, That's Jerry. Thanks. Thanks. Enjoy. Anto, uh, you, you did a, a bit of a stint here during the week for Festival Week, didn't you? We did, yeah. We kicked off the Festival Week with um, with our new play called um, On First City from Smashing Barriers. Yeah. And uh, that was last um, that was last Thursday and it was packed in the library. And it was great. Anthony was one of our actors over there. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was, a great res uh, it was a great response, you know, for people in the audience and that. So... Yeah, so it was great. We had a great audience. Today. We had a brilliant audience, absolutely brilliant. It was packed. It was about um, about eighty people there. And are you rerunning it again? We're not rerunning that one, but we are rerunning the first day we had. Um, that was dead or alive, and we're going on tour. Um, and we'll be in Tala in November and uh, Ballymun in um, December. Huh? You're one of the main actors. Well, the Hollywood actors of the Smash and Barriers, yeah. Yeah. And it's going well for you? It's going well, yeah, I enjoy it. And where are you from yourself then? Uh, I'm ready. Oh. I'm local. Yeah, you I'm were born, born here and bred I'm here. Born and bred in Ballier, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Born and bred in Ballier and I'm local and I'm only moved out for a few years, but I'm back and I'm here. to David and, and Jody here. Uh, J David is from the John's Ambulance yeah. and Jody is part of the youth service. Hey, how long are you doing this? Uh, the youth service about 10 years. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. uh, John's Ambulance coming up to 4 years. Oh, well, you kept going so kept going, busy all the time, yeah, don't get yeah. a day off. I'm surprised you're down here <laughs> looking at this. <laughs> well, because I wasn't here, I didn't have to wear my uniform, oh, that's why I come yeah. down, you yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. And yourself, Jodie? I'm uh, 19 years of Balfourma Youth Service. Yeah, and I uh, love every day of it, love every minute of it, love um, involving all the young people in Ballyferm and giving them all positivities rather than the amount of negativities that's always spoken about the area. There's loads of positives about this area, as you can see here today even. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's amazing, yeah. yeah. 
And we do lots from young people from Ballyfermot and bring them on loads of European projects, Erasmus programmes. There's a wide variety of things we do for all young people at Ballyfermot. I was thinking you mm -hmm. didn't get that colour in Ballyfermot. Where are you recently? Don't tell anybody. I was with Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> we were in Portugal. Portugal, yeah. yeah, yeah. We were in Bilbao with a group of young people on a, an educational study visit. How yeah. would Michelle, really uh, Michelle and Sean get into that? Uh, you know, uh, well, get them trips. Yeah, do you have 19 years of youth work <laughs> <laughs> and see where, where you go from there. <laughs> and Davey, you're doing a job for us tonight. Oh, yeah, I'm in there, yes, yes, yes most we're definitely. The historic walk. Yeah. Yeah, fair yeah. play to you. Yeah, no bother. No we bother. want to thank you for that, you know. Oh, more than welcome, yeah, as I said. More than welcome. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. get to understand the heritage as well. be brilliant. Listen, thanks very much. You're welcome. Take care. Mike and uh, Martin here both have been appearing here all week on the festival. Mike yourself, what do you think? Yeah, it's excellent. And uh, live music is uh, the best way to hear music. Yeah, yeah. And uh, these are Ballyferma musicians, and we're in Ballyferma, and it's great to have this festival. And, the and uh, we have the weather with us. Uh, nice audience, appreciating audience they are. It's lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, I love it. And yourself, man, you, you took part in this. I did, and it was uh, it's a great experience, and I hope to take part in it again next week. Yeah, yeah. But it's great to see, like, Bally Fairman is 70 years old, and it's been the, the hub of Irish music in this city since then. And thankfully, it's, con it's going to continue. And uh, long may it continue. We have a huge influence of, influence of young, exciting talent now in, the, in, in, in this little area of ours. So, uh, long may it rain. And you do a stint in Chapel Lizard as well, don't you? I play, uh, I have a session every Wednesday down in the village or pub in Chapel Lizard. Yeah. Everybody's welcome. Good uh, we, we actually encourage uh, people who maybe might be a bit shy to out starting out, come on in, sit down. That's where you get your experience. And you'll be dealing with people who have been around the block a few times, but uh, have no problem passing on all the information and, and experience that they've gained over the years. And uh, it's just it's just to encourage young people. And then you're in the crowd hub on the Saturday. Saturday morning in the library with Derek and uh, all the trad hub people. It's amazing uh, to see El Sweats like me playing with young kids. And I don't mean that in a nasty way. <laughs> but teaching these young kids how to play music and listen to them themselves. And uh, it's just... It's a great experience. Nice to give something back. Well done, Martin. Well done. And Mike, you're, I know you're involved in the credit union as well. Yes, yeah, many yeah. Years? Uh, over 30 years. Voluntary. Yeah, voluntary. Yeah, oh, yeah. Know, yeah. Yes, on the board. Years, yeah. And you keep it going all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm about to retire uh, at the end of this month. Are you going to yeah, retire yeah. from it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you wonder what to do with your time? Oh, then? I'll find, I'll find <laughs> things to do. Don't worry about that. I'll continue to be active in some way. You know, and uh, yeah. enjoy music and uh, travelling. Oh, that's grand. So I'll, 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 in, I'll have a happy retirement. Oh, well, thanks, and thanks for all your work yeah, you do great. here. I know you do great yeah. work. Well Thank done. you. Well done. lives. Tom, you were from where? I was uh, originally from Landon. We moved into Landon in uh, 1949. Uh, before we came from uh, Blessington Street. I was born in Blessington Street and my mother lived in uh, Henrietta Street. That's how she ended up uh, in a flat in uh, Blessington Street. So you can remember the house being built here, most of them? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Looking for what we call the pink wood. The pink wood was just, that's what they use as a, as, a, as a primer on the wood that they put into the houses. And that's what we called it, the pink wood. And that there'd be all odds and ends that you take home to put in the fire. Oh, yeah. 
Because any, any, any way you could get some fuel for free was great because everything cost money. <laughs> and we also um, um, got a lot of, uh, one time some guy discovered the uh, coal pits down in the Phoenix Park where they used to store the coal uh, during the war and people would go up there and get a ration. But after the war they covered it all up. But somehow someone was up there and discovered there was loads of coal still there. So I can tell you that the minute all the kids heard about this they came from everywhere with their wheelbarrows and their prams and used to dig up the coal in the Phoenix Park and bring it home. So there you go. What about yourself? I mean, you're here. Yeah. You were born in Glasgow, weren't you? Yeah, born, live, I live, I still live on Cleggan, or we call it, uh, it was called Cleggan then, but they changed it to Cleggan uh, about 20 years ago. The Irish version of the name. And I know you both have something in common, the Irish. Yeah, we're both members of the Common uh, Attached to Liffey Gales, where there's uh, Irish classes for adults. There's uh, a group of about 40 people there learning Irish. They're just back from a trip to Ballyvorney down in the West Kerry Gaeltuck, to West Cork Gaeltuck, and they've had, unfortunately I couldn't go with them, they had classes for three days down there, improving their Irish. Tom and Bernie, his wife, and some other members have just set um, an Irish exam out in Minute about a month ago, didn't you? Yeah. And they're waiting on the results <coughs> to improve their level of Irish. Um, it'll give them a, le a level... Yeah. I'm so jealous because I went to school with some of the people in there and they can, they're fluent Irish speakers now and I, I, yeah. I only have the basic, you know. Yeah. It's, it's just well, it's a very uh, relaxed, fun class, mainly based on conversational Irish and eventually moving to grammar as you progress. Well, I only went back to the Irish classes with the Common Gaelic of Kutch uh, When I went there first and uh, I couldn't read a word in Irish. Yeah, so. But I went to, I had uh, 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 Pancho Patrick Mooney, he's the chairman of the club, and uh, he was teaching there, he's still teaching there. So he actually basically taught me how to read, and that kind of improved uh, the, the learning, you know. And uh, so we're still doing it at the moment, so we'll be doing it for a, a good one now, you know. And you do a bit of singing. I heard you singing here in Irish the other day. Yeah. yeah, well, originally, you see, uh, that was one of the ideas about uh, learning the language was I didn't know any songs in Irish. Yeah. 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 October, after 25 years in the Grand School in Chicago. And you're enjoying your free time? Enjoying my retirement, yeah, yeah, yeah it's great. But yeah. when you say retirement, I see our poets going up every year. Yeah, you're well, still I try to go as, as many community. local things as I can and put them on for the people that live abroad. They love seeing them, but I can't put them up too often because people are saying they're getting very homesick looking at them. Ah, yeah. So I kind of put them up uh, anything that I think people would like to see yeah. that are on yeah, the yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Valley page abroad. Oh, well done for yeah. you, Paul. Well done. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thanks. Thank Thanks, you. Uh,